Today I'm going to be using one of these pewter decorative tops to make a potpourri pot.
So this is what happens when you're too aggressive uh, when you're using a very small mortise on the bottom. I've lined this up on a waste block. I'm just going to hot glue this to this waste block so that I can turn off the bottom. I don't have much room to spare in the bottom now. So what I'm going to have to do is going to end up having to be a flat bottom. So I'm going to do the bottom first of all now, then stick a waste block on so that I can then turn it around and finish everything else off. So we're a little bit out of round now. I think it dropped while the glue was drying. Uh, as you can see, I took a chunk at the bottom here. So I'm just going to level this off. <laughs> So I've just sanded the outs, everything here to 320 sanding sealer and Yorkshire grit. The bottom is effectively finished, so hopefully by gluing anything on the bottom here isn't going to cause too much damage. Uh, it just will be a case of cleaning it up and polishing it off. I've got another waste block here. I'm going to do here is I've already given it a nice surface on here. I'm going to. Fortunately, it's got a centre hole. I'm going to use that to push up onto the back there. I'm only going to glue this on the inside. And the reason for that is, is that this is just about fitting at the right size. Once that is glued on there and turned around in the chuck, I'll be able to finish off all this outside in one go, as well as the top and the inside. Some glue in the centre. Try not to put too much on, but enough for it to hold. And then I can place my waste block. On there. Back to where I was, but I'm going to have to take this a lot easier now because this is only on hot glue on the base here.
Hello there, it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. So from watching the video there, you can see that this little pot gave me a few hassles to start with. Um, but before I carry on with that, I did actually make a second one. This time it was Sapili and it was made the way the first one should have done. So while I'm talking about these, hopefully there is a video showing on the side here of a time lapse of this one being made. These pewter tops, they're a Craft Pro kit and I bought them from Axe Minister. I believe they do about up to about eight different styles of them and I have this one which is a butterfly and the other one is a rose. They are priced at $2.99 so very very cheap. They're at around about 77 mil in diameter which is three inches what i found was that these three legs are slightly different on both of them so the recess that you actually need for each one may need to be slightly different and it means that you may not be able to fit these between different pots i believe that is a roco i'm not sure uh, i absolutely love it um when I first started turning down and I see what looks like these burn marks into the wood, uh, I think it looks absolutely wonderful. Now, my main problem here was, was that when I turned this, I did a fairly small mortise in the bottom and I was being quite vigorous with my hollowing and the tool just dug in a little bit and that's where you just see it fly off the lathe. So it was a bit annoying, but it just meant I wasn't going to waste this. This was such a nice piece of wood that I decided, even though I'd part hollowed it out, that I would stick a waste block on the top, first of all, so that I could then finish off the bottom. Um, and it was done literally in a finished state, less finish it off with the wax. I could then just put a waste block on there with the hot glue again, left it plenty of time to dry and harden up. And that time when I went back into hollowing this, I was a lot, lot more careful. So all in all, really, really pleased. And the second one as well, very similar in size. Both the blanks were ones that I'd probably picked up for birthday or Christmas or something in a pack. And I've got to say, they have both come out really, really nice. The, the pewter lids on these, I believe they are all the same size. So even though I've done these on a small bowl like this, which is ideal for some things, because at least if you've got a small window seal, um, especially in the bathroom or something you want to put these into, uh, they're going to be ideal. But there is no reason whatsoever why you can't do these on a much, much bigger bowl with a small opening. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next project video.